Hey guys, Curious Chicks here, and we are back with another food taste test review. And thanks to Sienna here, we have some food from London that we're going to try today. Yes, so I have three interesting things that are quite different from what we're used to in the States. So I have a co-worker, he lived in London for a period of time, and he swears by Marmite, like he loves this stuff called Marmite. Um, and so I picked that up because I had never heard of it. I've also picked up some digestive biscuits that is not as healthy as you would think. They're just more like cookies. Um, and I got dark chocolate kind because, you know, just, you know, change it up a little bit. And then there were these Cadbury twirl candy bars. There's like two pieces in them and so they kind of feel like Twix to me but I have no idea what's in them. So let's try them out. So, okay, so the Marmite here, it's a yeast extract, basically. And they say that it's like, well, it says rich in B vitamins, 100% vegetarian, so that's good. They say it's like um, Vegemite. So I've never tried Vegemite either, have you? Nope. So uh, it's similar. Vegemite is from Australia? I or no clue. Okay. I think it's I from think, Australia. Isn't yeah. Isn't it from here? Because I've heard of Vegemite. I've just never had it. Well, because I've been to Australia and they have tons of Vegemite there. So oh. I don't know if it originated there, but it's definitely popular there. Maybe they really like it over there. Yeah. Uh, so ingredients of barley, wheat, oats, and rye. It also has salts and vegetable concentrate. But they say it has like vitamins, and so maybe that's the appeal here. Um, so this is butter toast. You said put some butter, and then a thin layer of Marmite. So let's. Do so is that. this a uh, common for British to eat? This yeah, Marmite like, for breakfast. Um, well, they put it on toast, and I would assume that it's more of a breakfast meal. But he didn't say like he eats it just for breakfast. Hmm. So it's um, like. Kind of smells like soy sauce. Yeah, so it's very like thick and molasses like. Mm, very thick. Uh, it's just like a dark brown. So you can like flip it over and it doesn't come out. <laughs> Here's <laughs> me at first. Yeah, so okay. So it's kind Ooh. of like peanut butter consistency. Whoa. So I'll do oh, something thin. Kind of hard to spread because it is so thick. You know. And does this ever stay refrigerated or are you always No, I think it says on here to not refrigerate it. Because mm, it'll probably get too hard. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know if I'm putting too much on here, but I'm thinning it. Okay, so that's one piece. Well, she's an expert spreader. Yeah, I think that's good enough, yeah. Marmite! Marmite! <laughs> Wow. It's really salty. It's really it? salty. I mean, wow. You like, and I, my layer was really quite thin. Mm hmm. So, whew. What makes it so salty? The salt? Or maybe because it's an extract, a yeast extract? Mm -hmm. it, is it, do people spread it on anything else? Or is it, that's the only way that it's eaten? I would, I mean, it's a spread, so you can spread it on anything that you find spreadable. Like, like a sandwich, anything that, maybe? Any, yeah, like a sandwich. You treat it as a spread if you want that boost of salt in there. Mm. Okay. Moving on, we will go to our biscuits with dark chocolate. Oh, so they look like cookies. So one side is like plain cookie biscuit and the other side is chocolate and it looks like a little waffle pattern you want to get your own okay. 45% wheat and whole meal no artificial flavors no hydrogenated vegetable oil so that's a good thing right doesn't say it's anything consistent. about digestion yeah I know it doesn't nothing about digestion hmm. yeah they say that it's just a cookie okay cheers Good. I like them. I do too. Pretty basic. Yeah, it's basic, but it's good. Ooh. It has a good flavor. It has a nice crunch to it. It tastes like those Milano cookies. Mm. You know those Milano cookies mm -hmm. that are like oval and they have like a layer of chocolate in between? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh. The pepperidge farm. It's a little bit messy though because mm. it, if you touch the chocolate, it like kind of immediately melts on your fingers. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, they say store in a cool, dry place. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cadbury. We all know Cadbury, um, but I've never seen one called Twirl. Mm -mm. Intense, Intense Cadbury chocolate hit. And it says, give this twirl a whirl. Twirl a whirl. So let's give it a whirl then. Okay, milk your chuckers. Oh! My God! That's all chocolate. Wow. I'll do a big bite of that. Whoa! Mm. I was expecting some mm -hmm. kind of cookie, cookie. wafer. It's very Something intense. crunchy. It was intense. Mm -hmm. It's not solid chocolate. It's kind of like hollowed out, like ribbony. Like it um, mm -hmm. came out, yeah, like a twirl, I guess, right? Like as if you were pouring it out and it came out in a thin stream and it just kind of like mm -hmm. piled up on top of each other mm -hmm. and then dried, which is why it has like kind of a rough. Mm -hmm. It's not exterior. a smooth. It's not a smooth exterior. Yeah, it's not like a smooth coating of chocolate. That's I think they just kind of let it twirl and pile up and then let it dry. And so it's a very concentrated amount of chocolate. But yeah. But Cadbury is very but it's very rich and milky too. It's chocolate. very rich. Um, really sweet. Really sweet. I've had better chocolate. <laughs> it's hard for me to eat just because oh. it's like so like it's so intense. Yeah. The chocolate is so intense that like one bite is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit overwhelming. I took a big one thinking it was gonna be cookie-ish. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need one of these. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, next time you're in London, you might wanna check these out. You might be in for a nice surprise. Uh, but that was interesting. Well, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Please give us a like, thumbs up, or leave us a comment. We'd appreciate it. Talk to you guys later.